Cambridge Science Festival is a two-week event which uh, takes place across Cambridge University, so many institutions are part of it and there are also a range of installations, open houses, open departments, but also a whole range of interesting talks. So it's a wonderful event where one can learn a lot uh, throughout these two weeks, so it's a great thing to be part of it. Although we are a small department, we are very much applied department. So we work continuously on solving some of the biggest challenges today. And this is the energy or the food production and also design of new healthcare technologies. And I think usually visitors are very interested in this kind of work because it impacts their own life. Um, and I think we have a very diverse mix of researchers coming from all over the place not only having different cultural backgrounds, but also different scientific backgrounds, which makes it a very dynamic environment. And it would be very nice if we could open the door to all of the visitors who are interested in learning about our work. as a family was that I brought our children here. I wanted them to see that, hey, this is normal. This is where we gotta go to learn. Make something of yourself. I was speaking to Ollie downstairs. Um, you know, he's doing the nano uh, filtering. Things are moving on to, and you know, he's excited. and had a great conversation. And I, I think the synergy of, of everyone that's working here together, new good things are gonna come out. Um, my name is Oliver van der Potten and I'm a third year PhD student in the Sensor CVT here in the Chemical Engineering Department. I think it's very important to educate people in the science that we do, what, what is going on in the department and uh, it's a very nice way to approach people with, with the, the problems and, and, and interesting topics you actually experience every day. Today I'm going to show them a 3D microscope um, that is used to 3D reconstruct biological samples. Uh, a water scope, which is used to detect malaria in blood, in blood samples. And I will also tell them about um, diffusion and Brownian motion of single molecules. There are several benefits. One, of course, is to get a chance to talk about science. And you get to answer the questions that you never expected, maybe, or you never had from your own peers. And people put the, your own research in the context and you learn how to put it in the context. So co to honing your communication skills is very important and it puts your research into the perspective. This is one thing. The other thing is of course having this community feeling. It's very interesting to see, to feel the pulse of the public but also the pulse of your fellow researchers. So it's a good way to talk about science and put it in the new context. So I'm involved in the Science Festival for several years already and first of all it makes me think about my science a little bit more differently. It, uh, it's challenging because you have to talk about your work which can sometimes be very in-depth scientific in a lay language which is you know, challenged me personally. But I also just feel that science plays such an important role in shaping the life of public and that it is very important that we talk about it uh, a little bit more.